So let's show you this right here. Here, stay right by daddy. That's a big old hole, it's not a puddle. So let's address the elephant in the room. Daddy? They put our cabin backwards. Look at that, it's backwards. There's no door, how do we get in? What's going on there, buddy? It is 12.45 and by the way, you like his hat? That's our local equipment dealer, Coal Equipment Rental. And super awesome guys. That's where I got the machine from. Stick your feet out, man. To take care of the uh, concession stand. Oh. And you step down on the running board. Step down. Yeah. Concession stand and the watchtower, and dig this 750, 800 foot trench. I'll know how long that is when I put uh, pecs in it. But super awesome guys. They gave Adler and I both hats, and they actually have a piece of equipment. It's really hot out here. It is really hot yeah. out here. We need it to dry out though because they're bringing our cabin, aren't they? Do you know what a cabin is? Yeah, let's do the water. Yeah. They're bringing a huge one. Super awesome guys. They actually have a piece of equipment for me. Ooh, Ray and I need to get, hey, that, that sign is sharp. Don't touch that. We need to get a roll away dumpster. And then Tom at Cole told me and I'm not, they ain't paying me to say this. I'm paying full price. I dented a door on the piece of equipment I rented and I had to pay for it because that's what happens when you knock down a concession stand with a piece of equipment and it falls on top of you and you break the light, you have to pay for it. So I'm not getting any kind of kickback. I mean, I, I guess I got a couple hats. Call me out, I don't care. But anyway, we got to get a rollaway dumpster and then they've got a bigger excavator for us to use to load the trash from the concession stand and the watchtower into the excavator or into the roll away. Now what we need to do is measure this. They need like 18 feet to get this cabin in here. I can tell you right now, this is not 18 feet. So let's see what it is. Cause if this doesn't fit, I'm gonna have to knock down one of my poles. Oh man, it's like 16 on the button. Oh, got it. Here, you can play with it. You wanna measure? Yeah. Put it on there and you pull and you measure. The cabin, as you know, is 16 by 44. And when you buy a 16 foot gate, it's not a true 16. It's like, it accommodates, you know, having a gate latch and hinges and stuff like that. So these are like almost 16 apart on the nose. The only other option I have, I can always take a pole out and as wet as this ground is, I bet I can pull it out with my truck real quick. That's okay. The other option is, see that right there? See the fence? See where those are cattle panels? The barbed wire was down right there, which may be where they came in before. And we might just bring them right down here through that opening right there. So I'm not sure yet, but let's go take a couple measurements and then we'll check back with you guys because they're on their way. All right, here, put your hat on. No, thank you. Oh, come on. Tom and Jack were cool enough to give us this. Uh, cool enough to give us these. Let's wear them. Look, you look like daddy. Daddy's got one on too. Look. Mm -hmm. You like you like gray or black or white? Which part? Which color? Um, white, white, blue. That's right. Say America. 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 Bye. All right. Look at me. You look good, man. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drive the exact route. They're gonna come down here in a second and see how soft it is. Which it shouldn't oh, be too that's bad. Up. We're because it's the front of the property, the highest flower, part of the property. Daddy, give me that well, can flower. I take can I tell you something about that flower? Yeah. You guys know what uh, hemlock is? Some kind of poisonous hemlock. Mr. G, the man we used to lease from, where we ran the Beefy Boys and the Highlands for a little bit, found some poisonous hemlock. Well, I wanted that flower, Daddy. I know, on his property. And it looks a lot like these flowers out here, and I didn't well, what, know it. What, what color is the 
other gate. What color is the other gate? Yeah, that we're going to. Well, we're just going right there. Anyway, he found some poisonous hemlock on his property. And he warned us about what we were picking the other day and how it kind of looks similar. So now I'm like, we ain't picking any more of them white flowers. So I think this will work. I actually repaired. Oh yeah, I'm driving in two wheel drive in a truck. We're good. We're good. Not spinning. What, I'm pretty what content. What flowers are for picking? The good flowers are for picking, yeah. But anyway, I think we're gonna take this down right here versus knocking down one of my poles to come in through the front gate. I think that's what we're gonna do because he can drive right across my pasture. And what you really want to worry about is the flex and the tipping of everything. Daddy. Let me make this a hole and then we'll go from there. I know these flowers are safe, so I'm gonna get him one too. So you guys just sit tight, hang on. You good? Yeah. All right, sit right there. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Case and I did this. And there's just a few cattle panels up here keep everybody in check. I may just take these down. Is there a ditch right there? I don't see one and I imagine it can come right, come right across it. I'm doing good, buddy. How you doing? All right. Whew. So that's, that's a huge, if uh, usually they're 16 feet apart, t -pus. So that should be a 30 foot opening. So that should be plenty. But now we got to do is run get some hot wire, even though it's not hot, and string it up so the cows and donkeys stay in while this is open and we wait on the uh, delivery. So, whoo! All right. Was it in your diaper? Was what in my diaper? Was the, your poop in your diaper? Was my poop in my diaper? Yeah. Is that where your poop goes? Yeah. Ah. Uh. You know, when I first started this channel. You're silly, silly poop guy. When I first you started this channel, and you were. You pooped on your beard. You pooped on your Yeah, listen, shh, don't be gross. When I first started this channel, and you were nine months <laughs> old, I was like, man, I can't wait until he can say words and talk. And you're highly intelligent. Did you know that? You're very, very smart. You mean me? Yeah, all three of my boys are. You're very smart. Oh, yeah. But then you say things like, where's your poop? And I'm like, oh, no, there's a bee. There's a bee? Oh, we're good. That's right. So anyway, <clears throat> it's funny now, come full circle. He turned three yesterday. The day I'm filming this, June 6th, big boy turned three yesterday. And we're having a conversation about P-double-O-P. <laughs> so, come full circle. Let's get some string over here. Do and you get think up there. the baby alpaca is going to eat those whole rocks? Nope. Let's get some string over here. Before these donkeys and horses, horses, donkeys and highlands, rather, figure out that the gate's down. Sound like a plan? Uh, um. Yes. No. All right. Okay, you sit right here while daddy gets stuff. Hey. Hey yay! 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 One of us is getting too big to ride shotgun. Hmm. All right. What did you? What are you so even also, saying, Daddy? I don't even know, man. I'm also driving where this thing's gonna have to go just to see and make sure it's not too soft. Now they bring something called a mule that they told me is kind of like a forklift or like a skid steer, but like crazy stronger. And that's what they actually move these with. So as long as they get it close, they can move it with this mule. Cause I think it's rated at like 20,000 pounds or something crazy. So Are we, we just need, Daddy? no, we're not leaving. We're going up here to park where they're gonna bring this camper in, camper, where they're gonna bring this cabin in here in a second. I'm super excited. I don't know Can if Chris- Can where the dinosaurs in there? Where are the dinosaurs? Did you leave the dinosaurs at home? Um, no, I wanted to 
to play with the dinosaurs that that guy he is bringing. Well, I think you left the dinosaurs at home. So that's what I was worried about is if he takes the driveway, a lot what of you guys. What thing are you talking about? Hang on. A lot of guys know, a lot of you guys know, there we go. Our driveway has some serious ruts in it from the rain, which if your driveway is set up like mine, that's perfect. You want that because the driveway actually, hang on, this may be a scout. What may be a scout? Nope, just a looky-loo. Oh, it's Chris. Hang on. We'll get out here and talk here in a second. Man, I can't believe you come out here and show your face after what you did to me on YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I have people writing me emails. God bless you guys. I appreciate it. But I had people writing emails. They told what you paid. They told us you. I know, guys. It's okay. The stickers are on the buildings. Actually, hanging in the buildings. It's actually still in the building. It's still in the building. It's actually. I, mean, I didn't take it out. I didn't even <laughs> see it when we left. But, it's actually still on the website because that building is still listed. It's just not listed yeah. as an inventory item anymore. Because so somebody can order this exact same one. Yeah. I mean, it, be, it won't be the exact same one. It'll be the exact same build, measurements. But they can get it color-coded. They can get it to match their existing house. If you're getting this for like a... This would be a big she shed. But if you're getting this for yeah. like something to back your property or hunting property, you can get it to match what's already out there. We've had those. So. We've had big she sheds, actually. Ridiculous ones. So I think that's what my fiance wants is a big she shed, but it's to escape the kiddos. So I used one she might like. <laughs> I'm gonna make a video out of that. It's, it's you my, should make a ultimate she shed video. It was my wife's supposed to be her she shed, mm -hmm. and she tore up her shoulder and well, for for a business she was trying to start. So. Anyway, gotcha. Cool. And now it's just stuck in our house. There you go. Well, hey, is this a big enough opening? Can he go so. through here? It's 32 feet. I hope so. He you should be through there. You're on real high ground, so it's real solid up here. It's pretty solid. I don't think you're gonna sink. It gets a little more, I mean, it slopes down from here. Oh, yeah. It looks pretty big, man. I think it's bigger than I remember. They, they, they get, they get, they they get, get longer, the right? Outside. They get longer too. You start putting stuff in them and they get smaller on the inside. But yeah. We're just diminishing return on that. So. Sure looks big coming over here. Like Guys, the goal was to go in here, but we're going to let the professionals do what they do. We may still take out a pole on the driveway. We're going to let them. He's been doing it a long time, you said. Adler, Adler, you thumbs up. Oh, I love what you've done with your face. I was thinking it was just good. Good job, Mrs. A. Yeah, you can blame Adler. Good job. Right now, this is the best of my knowledge to reach what you can get. It's a 66,000 gross vehicle weight, and it'll run up to a 60 footer. It hangs off the back. Because you guys have a 60 footer if somebody wants. We have a 60 footer. We can do a 60, we can do a 60 lofted or in the utility roof, either one. Uh, and you said some people loft the whole top. Yeah, that's And put like an attic cut out in it, like storage. And... Cool. Yep. <laughs> but they didn't even they didn't even have a trailer this big a couple years ago. Because you said a mule is like a skid steer. Check this out. This would be a good thing to. It, it's got the same kind of drive as a skid steer does. It operates a little bit different, but uh, basically it's a hydro pneumatic dolly with a lift on the front of it, and it'll pick up far more than what it weighs. Um, and it will move it very precisely, very very precisely. That's cool. So they were they were going to bring this through the drive. Well, they were never going to bring it through the driveway, but we did look at it, and that's a little bit too wet. It's also too tight of a turn. 
This here gives him like 32 feet. So he's got plenty of room. And they're gonna use the mule Chris was just talking about to put it in the right spot. So should be a good time. Prayers and fingers crossed that we don't that we don't tip it or I don't mind if a window pops. We can swap a window. We just don't want to roll her off or fold her in half. We so. almost stumped one the other day. I at our shop. So nice. It's actually a little sketchy. It was worse than the video made it look. Tell you what, these boys don't mess around. This is a uh, this is a this is a work of art bringing this thing in here. This is crazy. They're still not sure how they're going to get it down here, but it should be all right. I think they just need to bring it right down the middle of the pasture where I'm driving. But man, oh my, they've been doing this a long time. Well, I know they go through tighter corners, but like navigating, not rolling it, coming through there, that's a big deal. I know it was. <laughs> I, I kept, I was like, it's gonna tip, stop, slow down. Oh, I bet, I bet. Wait, that's the wrong color. <laughs> I think it's all dude. <laughs> Where's the red one? What's going on guys? So obviously I'm inside the building. It is set. It's where it's gonna be. Look, that's me. Chris has gone home. Mr. And Mrs. A went home. Look at that view. Look at that trash pile. <laughs> we gotta get that taken care of. That's going in a roll away. I think you guys know that, but oh my goodness, this is our this is our door. Look at that. It's almost perfectly centered. You walk out, you got pasture there. Look at that. If you can't get past that mess right there, something wrong with you. But Jim is down underneath us. 
he's leveling it out. There's usually a two man crew, but somebody had to, somebody had a prior commitment. So one of the men left, but he's got his level in here. Cause I know how you guys are. Somebody's going to say this thing's not level or it doesn't look level. There's no way to show how level this thing is on camera. I think they put a four inch block here. And by the time they got to the back, they got two eights and a four and some shims, but that's how it goes. That's where we wanted it. I'm content with it. I'm happy. But look, here's his level right here. He's moved this thing all over this cabin. And it is level as it can get. He's just adding some fine touches, making it work. He's been here all day. Oh, where's Adler? I hear him hollering. Hang on, buddy. I don't know. You want to name him? Yeah. I think. We had to take a phone call, guys. We got Adler situated. I think his name was Fredo. Yeah. Oh, man. He was Speaking of, there, there's Fred right there. There's Fred right here. Look. But there was a different Fredo. Look, there he is. There was a different Fred. The different Fred was his tooth. Mm-hmm. You want to get up in there? Yeah. Pretty cool? Yeah. Is there an echo? <laughs> Look how high the ceiling is. Whoa. Yeah, but what's up there now? That's where you can sleep. It's like a big old bunk bed. That's a loft. You want to put your bed up there? Yeah. That'd be cool. You look good. You look good with that marker all over your arms. Hey, you get a bug on the window. Yeah, there's a bunch of bugs in here. We'll get them out. Yep. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. And you? I'll probably sleep over there underneath that one. Is that okay? Uh, uh yeah, I guess. And, and Casey, and we will sleep in the bushes. Will that be okay? Yep. Stay right here. Ray and the boys are on their way. <laughs> hey Jim, next time you come out, we'll have air conditioning. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to be in the wintertime then? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll be that natural air conditioning. Yep. Guys, this is Jim. We'll wave at him when he's done working, but I cannot imagine doing what he's doing. This is the tedious part of the job. Not that his name's Jim. Not that moving it wasn't tedious, but man, leveling these suckers on the slope I gave him, that wasn't very nice, to be honest. I sincerely appreciate it. Waiting on Ray and the boys. We'll check on you here in a minute. You want daddy to go in there with you? Yeah. Guys, I can't stress enough. I got a phone call a second ago. Yeah, stay away from it. Well, hang on. I can't stress enough how level this thing is. Even back here where he's got the most, he's got the most slope at the back end of this cabin grade underneath us back here hey you'll come out here you're gonna stay in here that's a big old bee honey carpenter bee yeah we'll get him out of here oh no we won't hurt you what's up johnny cash it's not hot. You know who Johnny Cash is? Yeah. The man in black. Step over it, Carter. It's not hot. You can touch it. Some really old guy. Some really old guy? Yeah. You just made everybody mad. Carter, honey, just go under it. Walk in. You're a big boy. There you go. Come in here, guys. Come in here. How's it? Ready? Can you help? Nah, that's all right. 
Put your foot up there and put your hand on my shoulder. It's not hot. Just don't tell the cows. Welcome home. Welcome home. Is it what you thought it'd be? It's huge, isn't it? It's way bigger than you thought. We can't really take it back now. It's kind of here. What? What do you see? What is it? I think it's an ant. Is it an ant or a spider? A spider. No way. Are you extra special? Look at your shirt. I'm extra special. Somebody sent you that. I can't remember who it is. I apologize, but cool shirt, huh? Can I get that rock out? Yeah. Oh, probably not. Nope, it's in there. Here, throw that one in. Okay. It's going to splash. Oh! That one looks good. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. come here. Walk around the cabin with me. Not going to happen. Busy throwing rocks. Whoa! Where's the donkeys? There's one of them. Where's the other one? Like Digging through the trash like a couple of weirdos. Where's Fred? Um, in the trash can. No, you know what Fred did. So I got us one of those fly sprayers, which is awesome, because you guys are right. It shoots like 10, 15 feet. We're, we're I covered. Shadow, shadow. Is that I covered Fred in it, and then he goes down and gets in the pond. Silly Fred. Where is Fred? He's down there in the pond. Where? Where? Oh. They're going to bring us a rollaway dumpster and we'll take care of all that. And we'll also take care of that trash pile right there. Which that's not even our that's not even our trash. I think that was like a focus. But here it is, in all its glory. It looks like it's huge, and it is. It's 16 by 44. Coming off of here, it looks really, really tall, but you gotta remember, I'm six foot four, so that's why it looks really tall. This is only two feet, eight inches. That's a four inch block, an eight inch block, and a four inch block, and then like a two by six and a couple of shims. Two feet, eight inches, that's it. That's amazing. If you had stem walls, you'd be almost a foot higher than that right there. So this is perfect. So let's show you this right here. Here, stay right by daddy. That's a big old hole, it's not a puddle. So let's address the elephant in the room. Daddy? They put our cabin backwards. Look at that, it's backwards. There's no door, how do we get in? I don't know. Can you show me where the door is? Show me. Take me to it. Follow me. Follow you? Yeah. Okay. There it is. There's the door. Good job. Can we go inside and show them? Yeah. So we put the door back here, because obviously, but actually for a second reason. So here's why that door had to go on this side because there's only one door in this model. Sorry for the echo. You're going to have to get used to it for a little bit. But the master bedroom quarters are going to be down here and they're going to be somewhere around 14 by 16. And this is 16 foot. So 14, watch those nails. Look right here. See that nail? You got to stay away from those. What are these? They're pokey. They're nails. I know I talked about missing shims, but they're missing studs, but... When they miss, they refire. Anyway, 14 is probably going to be somewhere around right here. And if we flipped this and we had the master quarters down here. Now, I grew up doing this. I grew up doing AutoCAD. My brother and I took AutoCAD all the way through high school. We took drawings to state. We have trophies. Kyle actually went to school for engineering at Arkansas. Uh, neither one of us finished, and now we make YouTube videos, <laughs> but yeah, this, 
This is just how this had to be. It had to be flipped. So it's not supposed to have a door over here unless we want to add one. Now, Ray, obviously, at first, it's like, well, let's put a front door right here, which we can do, and we may do, and we may still do, because I don't really care. But this is going to be like a mudroom entrance. Or we may not do anything. We might put a mudroom entrance right there. I don't know. It's limitless with this. And that's why we went with this cabin. First of all, because this is crazy, crazy more structurally sound than... <laughs> this is crazy more structurally sound than an RV. This is a little over 750 square feet. Volume-wise, and that's not counting the lofts. Volume-wise, this is... You could take the volume in a fifth wheel, and I'm talking about a 37-foot fifth wheel. Volume-wise, as far as cabinets and space and stuff like that, this is three times the size of an RV. The biggest, one of the biggest RVs you can even get, this is three times bigger. So when you guys are saying it's gonna be tight or this, that, or the other, you don't have a clue what you're talking about. I said it, I said it. If you don't like it, I said it. This thing is huge. It's massive. And when you talk about Chad not fitting in here, Chris and I are about the same height, like I said, depending, like, I like the way he put it. I'm like 6'2", with the, depending on the amount of tread underneath my boots. So, I think I got him by a little bit, height-wise, but nonetheless, look, it's not, I can't even do it justice. And I don't have a good tape or I'd show you on tape, but we're considering taking out one of these lofts, using the loft above one of this, one end of it for the boys. What do you think? That's a hundred feet, you got a long ways to go. I am so pleased with this thing. I'm so happy about it. It is as level as a joke. It will settle a little bit, but we want it to settle. Okay, look, if I sit right here, my feet almost touch the ground. It's not like this thing's four feet off the ground. I just don't know how to show you on camera, but one of the first things we are gonna do is build a set of stairs right here and a deck running that way. We're not gonna run it that way yet, even though we'll probably spend a lot of time right down there grilling. This right here will be like where we park. So we want a deck leading that way, something we can sweep off and brush off and all that good stuff. So anyway, the cabin's not backwards, or it is backwards, depending on how you look at it, intentionally. But if you ask me, the only way this thing should face is towards that amazing trash pile. <laughs> We gotta get that thing out of here. They can't bring us a roll away because it's too wet. Gotta wait till there's a week without rain, which is gonna be a minute. But Dutch and I used to talk about this a lot. I think the last time we talked about the wet weather was when he had his place originally last year. Here in about two weeks, Dutch and I have talked about this before. Here in about two weeks, we will be wishing it would rain. It'll be so dry. It'll be so dusty. And we'll be like, man, I just wish it would rain for five minutes. And you know, right now it rains like every day for like two hours. So it's coming, but we'll get rid of that trash pile. But man, oh my goodness. Let me, let me, let me show you this view real quick. Hang on. Let me show you guys something. Right now we're in here. It's 16 feet wide, 44 feet long. We've got a huge loft up there. It's actually ginormous. I want to get up there later. Just a gorgeous loft. Actually, I can tell you right now. That is just shy of eight foot, because I think I can reach about eight too. So, just shy of eight foot, or maybe, yeah, just shy of eight foot, or maybe the top's right at it, I don't know. But anyway, look at this, look at this view. Look what's gonna happen here. We get up, we come out, this is the kitchen and great room area. Actually, no, this is the great room area, kitchen area, boys. I'm not saying there's not a reason to look out here. I mean, look at what's out here. Look at the little baby and the skinny alpacas. <laughs> They're not skinny. You know who you are. Anyway, look at this view. Watch this. Is that not amazing? Gorgeous. 
Wow. Now we talked about thinning out some of these trees, uh, doing a lot of things. No, I didn't ruin that pine tree. I may have ruined that cherry tree though, or that peach tree. But we got two more peach trees. We won't take out that mimosa, but we may scale them up a little bit. We might limb them. Now there, I was gonna limb them regardless because when I mow underneath them, I have to duck. And that's really annoying. But anyway, that's that guys. That's what I know. Literally down there just taking a bath after I just squirted them with fly spray. Stinkers. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I just put all that in there. Oh no. What are we gonna do? So everybody's seen it, everybody's happy, everybody's excited. But yesterday, the reason it was short and sweet, it was 90 degrees and I had been out here for, oh man, five or six hours. And just, I was just spent. So we come out here, I didn't film anything. We just hung out and then uh, came out this morning to check it out. Plus it's cloudy today. So it's actually enjoyable to be in here. Y'all be good? Now we're going in timeout. No, we're not going in timeout. Yes, we are. Are you going to tell all the people they're in timeout? So you guys are in timeout. You guys are in timeout. They can't come out till the next video, right? No. They're in timeout till the next video. Y'all be good. Don't worry too hard. Don't make it weird. God bless. Thank you all so much. Deuces. Daddy.